with what is going on, our leader can never get justice in Nigeria court. Just a few minutes ago, I was told that they amended, there is a decision or a verdict or whatever pronouncement from the Federal High Court and those that are being frivolously charged on those frivolous charges on terrorism will be tried in the secret. So I have come to make it very clear today, this evening, whether that particular update is genuine, we don't know because you don't know, you know, there are propagandas everywhere. But if it is genuine that a court and a judge of the Federal High Court has amended the law just because of Mazen and Vicano, it is not acceptable. We are not going to accept for Mazen and Vicano to be given a secret trial. Never. I want you people to understand if you listen and follow our program before, you will know that there was a time when I was analyzing the prosecutor. I mentioned that look at what this man say. What this man is trying to do now is that they want to amend, they want to change the law because of Mazin Amdikan. How many of you remember? How many of you remember? Do you remember? Do you all remember when I was analyzing the prosecutor statement when he said that our leader denied uh, uh, denied being a leader of, uh, uh, of IPOP? When he made that comment, I was analyzing that man and during the, the course of analyzing him, I, from his speech, from what he said, I said, they want to change law. That is why analysis is very important. That is why when you know what you are doing, you analyze thing, even if it is never, it never happened, it will end up being that thing. So you see the reason why analysis is very important, because we will use that analysis to predict future and then block that future. If it is a bad one, if it is a negative thing that is coming our way, we use the analysis of the present to predict the future and then amend many things that we need to amend. So if you follow the program I made that day, I was analyzing that man. And in the course of this analysis, from what I, uh, you know, from what he said, I analyze it. I said, they want to amend law for Mazen Amdikan. Today, if what we are getting now is true, exactly what I said has happened. They have finally amended law for Mazen Amdikan, and we are not going to accept it. I want to also remind Biafrans and our legal team, our legal team, because no man, no man is an islander of knowledge or island of knowledge, you know, nobody knows it all. So I want to now send message to our legal team. And then over every other person that is concerned, including the civil rights movement and all that, that first of all, when you amend a law, when you amend, it is a common practice anywhere in the world. When you amend a law, the, you cannot backdate the court or the cases that are already in, in process. The trials that are already, pro, you are already proceeding. You cannot use that current law to solve the cases of the past. Okay? So if today they have amended a law that anybody being charged for terrorism and blah, 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 should be given a secret trial, it must not be applicable to the case of Mazin Namdikano. Mazin Namdikano case have started as far back as 2015. So you cannot now amend the law in 2022 and then you use it to try a case of 2015. Nobody does that anywhere. So I want our legal team to pay attention to this because, you know, nobody knows it all. Okay. We are not going to, and we are calling on the, on, on the politicians now and the leaders again to see that there is no miscarriage of justice, especially in the procedures of the, uh, the trial of Mazin and Dekano. So you cannot uh, 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 arrest person in 2015, delay the case, and wanted to kill him, 
and then again you kidnap the person committed crime while trying to you know enforce uh, uh, arrest you committed another international crime by kidnapping Mazina Mikano from Kenya and then you you breach international law by extraordinary renditioning him back to Nigeria and then on top of it you hurriedly and shadily amended law and now you know they say they transfer Mazina Mikano case to CC whatever so we are not going to accept that and I want the legal team to make it very clear we will not accept the entire Biafra people will rise up against this particular one. I am telling you. So those people that went and deceived other people and said they were, are looking for political solution, it is time you wake up and live up to your responsibility. I am talking about the leaders now, the politicians now, that uh, are looking for, um, that are giving amnesty to criminals. Give amnesty to criminals, but if you are part of those who connived with criminals in IPOB to deceive their friends on political solution? If anything happened to Mazinam Bikano, if anything happened to the trial, the entire Biafra will hold all of you responsible. Everybody that was part of this deceit will be held responsible because it is now you have to talk. When we are talking about political solution, it gets worse. It gets worse. Mazinam Bikano was being, you know, they took him to court. They were arguing about the, uh, the, the jurisdiction of the court and all that. And then and the next thing is that, told you people, I was analyzing that man, that prosecutor here. I saw him. I know exactly what he was thinking, what they were planning, and now they have amended the law. And then immediately, they, as the news is breaking, they say they have transferred Mazinam Bikano case to whatever. So, we are not going to accept that. Never will we accept that. We cannot accept that. We, because secret trial in a high-profile case of Mazina Bikano is not acceptable. And he can never be given justice. He can never get justice with this kind of shenanigans. So we are not going to accept it. So the legal team must make sure that they made this pronouncement that we don't accept any secret trial of any kind. And it is by law you can't use a, a decision of the court you you arrive at today to begin to try the case of 2015 that is our argument that is our argument so if the if the arrest another they can maybe next year they can if nigeria continue to be a country they can be thinking about their new law but for now mazinam the Kano was arrested in 2015 and it is still that same 2015 case that they are using against him now. Okay? It is also the same thing from 2015. It is from the 2015. So you cannot come in 2022 and amend the law to try a case that was pending since 2015. It is not done anywhere. That is our point this evening. So Mazin Amdekano cannot be tried secretly. We are not going to accept that. We are not going to accept that. And I believe that Biafra people agree with me that the secret trial of Mazin and Bikano will not be accepted. And we are going to make sure that we are not accepting it. So it is a, a, you know, we have to go by internationally accepted norms and practice. Internationally accepted practice is that when you amend a law, it is not going to be applicable to cases that are already there. So sometimes it is applicable to cases that are coming. And not only once you amend the law, it does not come into force immediately. Okay? It does not come into force. Today, today, you amend the law and you bring the decision today. And no, it does not come into force today, today. It means that that particular decision has have to be ratified. And then give a time frame when it will become you know enforceable so i don't know well, of course you know the janjaweed country is uh, is uh, where you see malami resigning because he knows you know they know what they have done so it is time for mazinam the canons and now he's resigning nobody knows who is going to be the attorney general you know 
uh, to stand to you know to most of the challenges that will be coming their way very soon. So, my people of Biafra, my message this evening is that we are not going to accept any secret trial of Mazin and Bekano. And number one. Number two, I want to respond to APGA. I want to respond to APGA. But ordinarily, I, did not, I don't want to respond to them, but I think it is very imperative that, uh, that uh, I respond to, to APGA. And then, of course, everybody must uh, go to go to uh to twitter it is time we begin to use twitter everybody must go to twitter everybody everybody must go to twitter everybody must go to twitter i don't even need to you know go into this analysis of the uh the conduct of terrorism trial in england and wales and all that you know I think I will do that tomorrow if if it need be. But we want every IPOB, every Biafran all over the world to go to Twitter. It is time we bombard Twitter with a tweet and countering this particular and show our our uh, you know uh, uh, that we are not aligned and we cannot accept the secret trial of Mazin and Bikano, and we can never accept that. Remember that all these things you see happening now is just a way to delay. Because Mazin and Bikano committed no crime. So they can never sentence. Mazin and Bikano can never be sentenced in Nigeria. <laughs> you know, there is no crime, you know, uh, that uh, he has committed. So they want to do this thing so that you know, they will continue to create confusion and problem here and there and just delay him and all that. We are not going to accept that. So I want to respond to APGA. I didn't know that APGA have joined uh apart from the apart from the soludo uh, saga and uh, all, all you know what soludo is doing and all that i didn't know that tapga have joined <laughs> have joined uh, uh you know uh, the, as a political as political party i didn't know that apga have joined you know the criminal enterprise and now the apga is now calling simon Epa a sabo so I didn't know that Abga is, <laughs> if I don't know what uh, Sabo Abga is calling me, you know, Abga is calling me Sabo. So I do not know whether the Sabo of Nigeria, you know, whether the Sabo Abga uh, is calling me, uh, whether the Sabo is for sabotaging Nigeria or whether the Sabo is for sabotaging Biafra. I want every Biafra watching me this evening to direct this question to the Abga people that wrote against me because we stand by Biafra. So I do not know. Abga have joined the group of people calling me Sabo. So, so ask Abga. Abga, who is involved in Nigeria politics, ask Abga, are they calling me Nigeria Sabo or are they calling me Biafra Sabo? We they need to be very specific so that I will know how to address them. I will show you how Abga addressed me as Sabo. Okay, uh, because we need to know which of the Sabo am I? Is it the Sabo for Nigeria or is it the Sabo for Biafra? So that that we will know who are uh, we fighting with. Whether the Abga have joined us for Biafra, you know, uh, they uh, they make it uh, you know clear. Well, if they have joined, if they are calling me Sabo because I'm sabotaging Nigeria, they should also tell us. On that note, I want to address the Abga person who addressed me as Sabo. Thank you so I don't much, know my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.